coming up in today's episode. You will be able to purchase, officially purchase the candle. Yes, the product is a candle and that will um, be the end of the three-part making of series. It's truly been something that's happened behind the scenes. You guys would have had no, well, if you're very keen on your with your eye and you would have seen some little nuggets, some little um, hints that this was coming. I hope it comes through through these this this product and this, these this brand, how much love and attention it has really gotten, like how much effort and attention to detail and everything that I have poured into this and every single facet of it. I hope it comes through because I'm truly like on cloud nine about what it's become. This podcast episode is kindly sponsored by Squarespace and Squarespace is an online platform where you can design a custom website that fits the needs for your brand and business. And I designed my own website, exomechanic.com entirely on Squarespace years ago, and I love it. And over those years, I've definitely evolved as a person and creator. So I love that Squarespace is always adding new features for creators like myself and shop owners to better share their voice and their products. So check out squarespace.com for a free trial and start building your website and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com slash xo to save 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or domain even with my crazy work schedule i really try and live a healthy lifestyle you know trying to stay active by maybe going on walks with kinsley or working on my renovation projects for sure and i try and eat well but i don't always know that i'm getting all the nutrients i need from food every day so i've been taking rituals essential for women 18 plus for years now to fill those gaps in my nutrition and i just take two ritual capsules every day and each of those contain nine key nutrients like vitamin d iron and B12 to name a few and the capsules have a minty fresh coating that makes them so much more enjoyable to take every day so no more shady business rituals essential for women 18 plus is a multivitamin you can actually trust ritual is offering my listeners 30 percent off during your first month so visit ritual.com slash xo to start ritual or add the essential for women 18 plus to your subscription today thank you to ritual for sponsoring this episode if you're a longtime listener, you might know that I've been drinking AG1 for about a year now. And I really started drinking it because I wasn't feeling my best and I just knew that I could be doing something better for my body and my energy. I was also drinking way too much coffee to get me through the day. So after a few days of drinking AG1, I could feel a real difference in my daily health. And I also had tons of energy to tackle my projects and my work. And that's because AG1 is a foundational nutrition supplement that supports your body's universal needs like gut optimization, stress management, and immune support. And since 2010, AG1 has led the future of foundational nutrition. AG1 is the supplement I trust to provide the support my body needs daily. And that's why they've been a partner for so long. If you want to take ownership of your health, it starts with AG1. Try AG1 and get a free one-year supply of vitamin D3K2 and five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. Go to drinkag1.com XO. That's drinkag1.com XO to check it out. Well, I guess the secret's out, isn't it? <laughs> if you have heard or seen or been on any of my other outlets, my other social media, YouTube, specifically Instagram, any of it, you have now heard and now know that I officially launched my own brand. It is called Odd and Lore, or if you want to say it more, like it's meant to be said, or like more French, it's Odd and Lure. And it's my baby. <laughs> and it has been something that has been in the works for five years, a little, maybe a little over five years now, which is absolutely crazy. And it's been something that I've wanted to do since I had first started sharing my projects online. 
It has been something that I have had multiple, multiple dreams about every facet and every part of it. And to see it finally, after so many years, come to life is amazing. You guys, I'm... I'm so I'm I'm obsessed. If you haven't, if you haven't, couldn't tell from any any of my other things. I'm now a podcast episode about it and just like the making of it and, and how it all started. And I just wanted to sit down and chat about it because it's it's truly been something that's happened behind the scenes. You guys would have had no well if you're very keen on your with your eye and you would have seen some little nuggets, some little um hints that this was coming but if you didn't know it they were very very subtle and they were they were almost like breadcrumbs or what are they called um it's kind of like what taylor swift does in her music videos you know like i kind of wanted to adapt like adopt that kind of like marketing like let me sprinkle some things in here easter eggs if you will little things here and there that you may not you're not going to notice, but then after it's all done, you may have seen something and you may have had an idea. But overall, probably no one has even picked up on the idea that I was creating my own brand. And it has been completely hush-hush behind the scenes, but it has been monopolizing my time. So keeping everything going like it's nothing else is happening has been difficult. Uh, keeping my videos going, staying, trying to stay super on schedule, even though I'm building this entire business behind the scenes has been, oh, you guys, I'm, I'm burnt out. I have no more energy left in me. I'm so glad it is out in the world now. And we are to the point where you're going. I think when you're seeing this, Hold on, I need to look at the dates. <laughs> so when you are watching, and if you are listening on the day that this comes out, which would be the 15th of November, I have just released the first episode of the Making Of series. So you really, you guys really will continue to get to see a huge behind the scenes of how this brand and this business and this product came to life and everything that went in it. Um, and you'll continue to see two more episodes, actually. It'll be a three-part Making Of series over on my main channel. And you'll get to see inspiration, ideation, where I started, how it began to the filling process and picking the scents and how particular I really was about every detail and every facet of creating this product. So it not only was truly what I wanted to be a very thoughtful product, but also have you guys get it and, and have a really meaningful piece and a, a, a piece that was lasting in your home that was a, would be a crime to ever get rid of <laughs> or donate kind of thing. Um, so if you're listening on the 15th, you will be able to purchase, officially purchase the candle. Yes, the product is a candle candles, multiple actually, three candles, you'll be able to officially purchase them this Sunday on the 19th. And that will um, be the end of the three-part making of series. And you will actually, you know, be able to order them and, and get them. And I hope you love them and cherish them. Um, so where did it all start? This has actually been in the making since 2019. And in 2019, it was truly just me being like, I want to have a candle line one day. I, I want to have a candle. I want to have a candle because I kept putting candles in every room makeover that I do at the end when I'm decorating. I always put a candle. I love candles. Candles are my favorite thing to get as a gift. Candles are my favorite thing to buy. I, just, I love them. And I also can smell a cheap candle from a mile away. And I also know that not all candles are good for you and good for your air that you breathe. So I have a lot of candle knowledge already. And I just knew I wanted a candle. It was something in me. So in 2019, I just started being more thoughtful about like, okay, what candles do I like? Let me brainstorm a little bit. I put a candle in every room makeover that I did. And a candle had to have certain criteria to make it into one of my videos. <laughs> and I know that I'm putting like my, my videos up here on a pedestal, but like truly a candle had to be 
like what I wanted. It couldn't, it needed to be clear-ish in the glass uh, so that you could actually see the flame. So when I videotaped, you could see the flame. It had to be clear of a label uh, like if the label was on the front, I would be able to easily, like I had to be able to turn it around or take it off or something because I hate labels. I hate the, ugh, it just, it's not it. Um, and so, also smell good because who wants a candle that doesn't smell good? And so thinking through that process, I'm like, oh, I wish I just had my own candle. I wish I had my own candle that didn't have these things that was superior to the, everything that I could find. Um, that I liked and be a good price point kind of thing. Like I, d I just wanted it. So 2019, I started brainstorming, just gathering things that I liked, whether it was colors or different vessels kind of that I liked and uh, different scents that really like spoke to me. Like, what did I like? What, what would, if I was to create this, what would it be? And I started a Pinterest board and, you know, like started saving little notes. I would jot down little notes in my, in my notepad and um, just one day, you know, maybe it would come to life. And so also, if you've been following for any amount of time, I started talking about a pop-up shop way long ago, right? But it was always, in my mind, it was always a pop-up shop of my thrifted finds to also be paired with the launch of my candle line. That was always what it was going to be. So it, the pop-up shop kept getting pushed because I hadn't created my line yet. And so I just kept gathering vintage items and secondhand items from places <laughs> like for this pop-up shop one day. And we still will have it. Truly, and it will be both. Uh, the pop-up shop will be the thrift store, my my finds, and also my candle. And if you're watching on the YouTube channel, you can see the candle. It's actually sitting in front of me as Noel, uh, which is our holiday candle, which is limited edition. We only have a limited quantity of these and then they're gone. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful color vessel. I absolutely love it and it smells like everything I want Christmas to smell like. It smells like the fresh cut pine tree that you got from the tree farm or you cut down yourself and you brought in. It smells like dessert, like cranberry dessert, something delicious cooking in the kitchen. And it smells like like the cozy fire that's crackling. It's everything that I wanted all rolled into one into a candle and it's it's beautiful. I love the color, the vessel. I love the scent, everything about it. I love all three, obviously. It is three candles. This podcast episode is kindly sponsored by Squarespace. And Squarespace is an online platform where you can design a custom website that fits the needs for your brand and business. And I designed my own website, exomechanic.com, entirely on Squarespace years ago, and I love it. And over those years, I've definitely evolved as a person and creator. So I love that Squarespace is always adding new features for creators like myself and shop owners to better share their voice and their products. So if you're like me and you would like to share maybe your passion for home decor through blogging or content creation, or maybe you DIY your own products and you have a product to sell and you need a solid platform to create and sell on, you are going to love Squarespace. And you might be thinking that you need to know how to build a website and you need all of these skills, don't worry. The Squarespace platform is so easy to use that no experience is needed. And they have flexible website templates that can help get you started. And then you can customize all the things like the look, the update the content, add features that are specific to your business. So check out squarespace.com for a free trial and start building your website. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com XO to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Even with my crazy work schedule, I really try and live a healthy lifestyle. You know, trying to stay active by maybe going on walks with Kinsley or working on my renovation projects for sure. And I try and eat well, but I don't always know that I'm getting all the nutrients I need from food every day. So I've been taking Rituals Essential for Women 18 Plus for years now to fill those gaps in my nutrition. And I just take two ritual capsules every day, and each of those contain nine key nutrients like vitamin D, iron, and B12 to name a few and the capsules have a minty fresh coating that makes them so much more enjoyable to take every day and I love that each ingredient is high quality and traceable so you can see exactly where each one was sourced right on their website 
And Ritual is one of the few women's multivitamins that's USP verified, meaning what's on the label is what's in the formula. It's also soy-free, gluten-free, vegan-friendly, and formulated without GMOs. So no more shady business. Ritual's Essential for Women 18 Plus is a multivitamin you can actually trust. Ritual is offering my listeners 30% off during your first month. So visit ritual.com slash XO to start Ritual or add the Essential for Women 18 Plus to your subscription today. Thank you to Ritual for sponsoring this episode. So in 2019, it just started with brainstorming. And then in 2020, I was like, oh, next year, I really want to dive really into this. Like, I really want to figure out how to do this, how to create this. And the pandemic hit. And that made it impossible, not even just challenging, impossible to start a new business and a new brand and a new, like anything. And it was, maybe it was just my own limitations that were keeping me from doing it. The unknown, the uncertainty of the world, everything that was going on for obvious reasons. um, It really like put it on the back burner, but I kept brainstorming and I kept thinking about everything and like what I wanted it to be. And then I obviously, we bought the cottage. So the cottage became my baby. The cottage became like my number one thing that I was working on and it consumed my life, you know? So 2019, 2020, 2021, the idea of this line never went away. The idea of this business was always something I still wanted and it just didn't make it through because we were still kind of in lockdown and and it was really, it was more difficult for me to wrap my head around. And so when we started coming out of that, um, in late 2021, 2022, I was like, I really still want a candle. And if I stay true to an idea for that many years, I know it's right. For that many years, if I've latched onto something and I'm like, I want a candle, I want a candle, I want a candle or whatever. It's not like a trend in in home decor where I've just like been over it next year. This was truly something I I still really, really wanted. And I was like, okay, I've got to dive into this. I've got to figure out how to make this happen. I've got to figure out how to get, you know, like the quality that I want and also the thoughtfulness of the company and how it, it is just exists and and the waste that it produces like far reducing that and reducing the waste and just being really thoughtful with everything and everything is really purposeful in the business I'm really ready to dive in and start working on it 2022 was really the year that I was like okay started really nailing down some things, I started meeting with different perfumeries and people that I could partner with to, to work on this with. Um, it, originally I was like, oh, it would be great to, you know, like partner with, with someone, to, you know, to just like make the candle itself. And then, um, I would ship everything. I would handle all of the customer service and all of that stuff. Um, and then it, it quickly became impossible or a really big roadblock for me. Um, so we logistically all of those things had to be worked out and and in 2022 was very like um exploring those options and then in January of 2023 another reason why I really needed to be here in California was to create this business and I know there were there were a lot of factors you know that went into putting the cottage on hold and this was one of them because I needed to do this for me. I needed to start my next phase and the next passion project. And um, the cottage was just like nicely buttoned up and staying right where she is so that I could just focus on some other things for the time being. And this was one of them. So surprise, (laughs) this happened. It started with obviously um, scent and design. And I wanted at the end of the day to create a vessel for my candle. Like you can see here, if you're watching the YouTube channel, I wanted to create a vessel that was inspired by vintage glassware. That was a beautiful piece of home decor that you never wanted to get rid of. And I wanted to fill that with the most amazing scented candle you've ever smelt. (laughs) That was the goal, right? So I, I entered into the world being like, I want this to be an amazing vessel and container for it that you keep after. And I want it to be enjoyed while it's still a candle with an amazing scent. So set on a mission to do this 
And it started with with both of those. Um, I started sketching and and coming up with different like like taking pictures of different pieces of glassware and vases and weird objects that I loved, even pendant lights and things. And started trying to like figure out what I loved most. You know what what would I love to put on my coffee table or on my mantle or on my entryway table? What vessel would really speak to me and what it what would it really be and I knew I wanted it highly textured I wanted there to be a lot of movement and a lot of interest so alone it was beautiful it didn't need any supporting element it was it could sit there on a table all by itself and be stunning. I also knew I wanted to be a clear glass or tinted glass because I wanted you to be able to enjoy the flame because I really didn't like any candles that had so much ceramic to them, like they were ceramic and they were solid. You couldn't see the flame or even know that a candle was on, so you didn't get the the visual from a candle. You got the scent, but not the visual. You didn't see the flame, so it didn't create that relaxing environment as much as as I wanted to create. So I knew I didn't want it ceramic. I knew I wanted it glass and then tinted glass if I could. So finally, after very, like a lot of iterations of designs and sketching, I uh, finally finalized the vessel and it's this beautiful wavy outside textured ridged I mean down to the number of ridges I did the count like I wanted a specific number of ridges the thickness of the glass the height the width the the substantial the heaviness of it I just wanted everything to be super specific and then we picked colors that it could be uh, painted like injected with so we have one clear vessel which is our fruit warm citrus fruit candle its name is arlo it's absolutely amazing it's it's a bergamot candle so it has these like really bright um, awakening notes of uh, citrus so the bergamot and the lime on top but it's grounded and it's warmed up on the bottom with cedar wood and vetiver and it's a really interesting combination and i i wanted to work with a perfumery that had the most exceptional quality scents this is like the level of scent that like Chanel perfume kind of scent level, like like high end, very quality, very sustainably made, ethically sourced, everything about it was top, top notch. And this perfumery, I cannot say enough good things about it. And the process of developing these scents and the iterations we had to go through <laughs> for me to finally nail it and like it. I have a drawer upstairs that is full of candle samples, little candle samples. I think we must have created 40, around 40 different versions um, to nail each scent really, really well. And so we have our citrus warm scent, which is Arlo. And then we have Ellery and Ellery is our floral clean. So how I describe Ellery is her top note is violet. Uh, so that's the floral that's coming through. And you've imagine you've just cleaned your entire house. It's spotless. It smells wonderful. It smells clean. And you just opened all the windows in your home and the your garden, the scents from your garden is just like kind of like wafting in when the wind blows. That's the level that that's the that, that's the combination that this really is it it is floral but when sometimes you think about floral don't underestimate these candles it is not going to slap you in the face with a rose scent it is still warm and and grounded so it's it's got the top note of violet and also vanilla so the vanilla kind of helps subtle you make it a little more subtle on the on the violet. And then it's grounded with musk and cashmere wood. Cashmere wood was something I loved when I smelled it in different candles, when it was really obvious. And each of my candles, it's not obvious. I think that you'll smell it and you'll be like, I wanted you to be able to smell it and be like, oh, oh, that's so good. What is that? 
that. It's almost like you can't pinpoint what you love about it. You just do because it's very complex. There's multiple layers. It's not just a vanilla candle or an orange scented candle or, you know, whatever it is. It's, they're very complex and very deep. Um, and I just, I wanted them that way. So this Ellery candle is, is amazing. It's actually the first candle and the first scent that I selected and was finalized. And every time I picked up the candle, the, the container, the small sample container that I had, um, I was just always like, oh, I love this candle. It, I may even venture to say it, it has a one point in its favor to be my favorite, which is wild because <laughs> I love all of them for completely different reasons. But I know one that just made me just feel like this, this, this. Um, it's just amazing. <laughs> so imagine that you cleaned your whole house, your garden is coming in. There's a little bit of like a, a like a grass scent that kind of comes with it because that's very natural to come in with like florals and things and love it. And that was actually in the same vessel shape, but we actually tinted it. I wanted it to be my own version of a milk glass. Um, and like a if you've ever seen milk glass it's pretty white it's pretty solid and I didn't want to do it that solid and I wanted it a little more warm but I wanted that idea um and so we we did it like a tinge like a warm gray color it's beautiful but we did the opacity low of the colorant so that you could actually still see the flame gorgeous and then we have Noel which is here with me in the room um it is everything that I wanted in a holiday candle all rolled into one. I wanted it to smell like that fresh cut pine tree scent that you you just went to the tree farm and got your Christmas tree or you picked it yourself. And I wanted it to smell like something delicious, like a dessert baking in the kitchen, but also the warmth from the fire and like the crack, like that wood smell. So at the top note is sage and pine. And then it's also grounded with amber and frankincense uh, and musk and and cedar wood so it's 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 got a lot of depth and a lot of layers so those are the details on the three cents that you will be able to purchase on Sunday if you're listening on the 19th. Um, they were truly a joy to create um, and just like go through the process and and see how much like goes into um, the science behind the scents and the perfumeries and how they manipulate scents and how they mix them and how they can evoke different completely different sense by just changing the level of something it's truly 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 such a fun process over the last 11 months alone just like in the development of the sense and I'm so happy with how they turned out and how um, the vessel comes to life so in the process of making this candle line, I just wanted it, like I said, to be very thoughtful. I wanted you to enjoy the candle, but also enjoy the vessel for years and years and years to come and repurpose it into your home and love it in a different way. So you were equally as excited to burn the candle and enjoy it, but also when the candle was gone, you had this other piece and it added so much more value to me than any other candle that I had ever bought or seen. Because most of the time you have to jump through so many hoops to turn a vessel into something else, right? Every brand will tell you, well, look, please repurpose it. Please do this, please do that. But like, do you really want to? Like a high-end, high-end candle that would even cost you like $100 is still in the most simplistic, basic best vessel that you could find do you really want to repurpose that? Is that really something that I want in my home? And for me, it was never, it was never a yes. I have rarely found vessels that I actually want to repurpose or could easily do so. So for me, I really wanted something that was a no brainer, that it would almost feel like a crime to get rid of and also not have anything obnoxious that you had to remove. You don't have to remove an ugly label from the outside and try and get the sticky off. All you have to do is follow the steps that we will provide to easily remove the wax from the inside. And you can repurpose it into almost anything you want. A vase, uh, another candle holder, uh, a 
base for your makeup brushes or on your desk as a pin holder um, to carry be beautiful flowers in any room in your house um, to even the clear vessel being food safe. So there's just, I mean, ugh. It's just, it's it's everything to me. I hope you guys enjoy it so, so much. We also had, once the vessel was finalized, um, we also went into the phase of doing like the photo shoots. I'm also sitting here in one of my photo shoot outfits, this beautiful dress from Doen that I was so excited. This is actually Ellery's dress. And each candle was really named like kind of like muses of me, like versions of, <laughs> I guess, my personality, if if that makes sense without being crazy. Um, Arlo, we shot in Paris. When we were there, yes, Paris was a whole nother, there was a whole nother factor and a whole nother facet to Paris. Uh, you guys may have seen on my, uh, my vlog of Paris that we shot some family photos. Well, the beginning hour and a half of that shoot was for Arlo, for the citrus candle to be shot in Paris in that 18th century home that we were staying in in Paris. <laughs> it's beautiful. I'll add some pictures here if you haven't seen the website yet or you haven't seen any of the pictures on social media. Oh, you haven't seen the website yet. If you're listening right right when, when this is going, like you haven't, the website is not live yet until Sunday. Arlo was so much fun to shoot. It was the first time I was seeing the vision come to life. You know, like up until the first photo shoot, all of this world of Auden lore had just lived in my head. It had just been a dream of mine. And like a, a the vision was just mine. You know, like it was just in my head. But to see like the, the direction, like I created a mood board for the photo shoot to provide the photographer. I found the photographer on Instagram. She was absolutely awesome. Her eye and the way that she just um, saw, you know, like moments was truly incredible. And uh, this was the first time that I got to actually see it in real life, like in the, the world of it. And I got this beautiful dress for Arlo um, from Dish and it had these beautiful sleeves. I just knew I would capture what I, what I wanted. And I really wanted to invite people into the world of what these candles really were. And that you almost would be living this lifestyle <laughs> or this life by having this candle and uh, like really embody what, what the vision of what I wanted each one to be and so we we shot Arlo oh that was the first ones we had and those are our like hero like our perfect images and then this past Friday no not yesterday but this past Friday when I'm filming this we actually had the photo shoot for the other two scents so Ellery and Noel I'll put in some pictures but Ellery was in the garden and um just in my kitchen and just like very like like oh you guys it's just I hope it comes through through these this this product and this, these this brand how much love and attention it has really gotten like how much effort and attention to detail and everything that i have poured into this and every single facet of it i hope it comes through because i'm truly like on cloud 9 about what it's become and all the little things that I like decisions I've made has finally come to life. So the last photo shoot went really well too for Noel. I had to decorate for Christmas. Obviously you're seeing some of the Christmas decorations. It's very early. <laughs> um, and I just, I had to decorate cause you know, there's, you had to get the vibe. You had to have a holiday candle when you have holiday decorations, right? So I'm like out in the middle of, you know, summer, 80 degree weather, spraying my windows with like, kind of like frosted, a frosted look. I'm putting up a Christmas tree super early in the year, all to have this vision come to life. And it was truly ugh, so much fun. I mean, let's say less. If I have to decorate for Christmas super early for a photo shoot for my own brand, for my own candle, I would sign up every day. So if you're a longtime listener, you might know that I've been drinking AG1 for about a year now. And I really started drinking it because I wasn't feeling my best and I just knew that I could be doing something better for my body and my energy. I was also drinking way too much coffee to get me through the day. So after a few days of drinking AG1, I could feel a 
real difference in my daily health. And I also had tons of energy to tackle my projects and my work. And that's because AG1 is a foundational nutrition supplement that supports your body's universal needs like gut optimization, stress management, and immune support. And since 2010, AG1 has led the future of foundational nutrition, continuously refining their formula to create a smarter, better way to elevate your baseline health. And even my parents and Romeo have started drinking AG1 and they always tell me how much more energy they have, how they feel better, and know that they're getting the nutrients that their body craves. AG1 is the supplement I trust to provide the support my body needs daily and that's why they've been a partner for so long if you want to take ownership of your health it starts with ag1 try ag1 and get a free one-year supply of vitamin d3 k2 and five free ag1 travel packs with your first purchase go to drinkag1.com xo that's drinkag1.com xo to check it out Gift giving during the holiday season is something I take very seriously. I always want to give a gift to loved ones that's thoughtful and it makes them feel special and unique. So this year I'm creating a gift that has lasting memories with StoryWorth. StoryWorth is an online service that helps you and your loved ones preserve precious memories and stories for years to come. It is a thoughtful, meaningful gift that connects you to those who matter most. And every week StoryWorth emails your relatives or friends a thought provoking question of your choice and these are the types of questions that you never think to ask someone but one day you'll look back and you wish you would have like what's the bravest thing that you've ever done in your life after a year, StoryWorth will combine the stories, including photos, into a beautiful keepsake book that you can keep and read for years to come. And I know for me, reading the weekly stories helps connect me with loved ones no matter how far away from each other we are or how much time we spend apart. With StoryWorth, I am giving those I love the most thoughtful, personal gift from the heart and preserving their memories and stories for years to come. Go to storyworth.com XO and save $10 on your first purchase. That's storyworth.com XO to save $10 on your first purchase. Thank you to StoryWorth for sponsoring today's episode. So I, I think uh, a natural progression of kind of my job and what I do, you know, in content creation and, and having this amazing audience. And I think for a lot of other um, people that also do my job, a natural next step has been to become a, like a business owner and, um, you know, create your own brand and create your own products. And what I saw represented, and I, I think that some people did it amazingly. Some people used their platform and created a truly um, exceptional product that had a lot of time and effort and energy and thought that went into it, but others didn't, you know, and you would see like merch or something like you would see like, you know, an influencer or content creator put their, just their name on some t-shirts and stuff. And where I think it was commonplace, I feel like it was just a common thing to do. And I think you can get stuck into like thinking that that's what you should do. And I knew from the very beginning that I was never, ever something that I ever would do. And we did do um, some vintage sweatshirts where I embroidered them, you know, like that, that was different. Um, I was trying to reuse and, and upcycle and that was a big thought and thought process that went into creating this business and creating Odd and Lore is being thoughtful in terms of like repurposing and reusing and reducing waste. That was a big thing for me. I didn't want to just contribute to like consumption or overconsumption and and a big part of everything that I do is upcycling and reusing and thrift shopping and secondhand decor and finding beauty and old things and not constantly needing something new. Um, and so when thinking about creating a product, obviously it is new, you're creating something new, um, but how that can impact everything after and how that can impact someone's life. And I just wanted to create something that was almost like you were getting a two in one, you were getting something you had now and something you could keep forever. And even down to the packaging components and the, the things that are already recycled or sustainable and the incredible quality of the scents that we're using and all of the sustainability and the ethical, you know, aspects that go into all of it is why this brand took so long to create is because I think that good things come from time 
and really doing the research and understanding the the science and the business behind it and, and making the best choices you can with what you have available. And I feel like we have so many options available now for sustainability and just even thinking all the way through on like how you would repurpose the vessel and not just using something that was already mass manufactured um, says a lot about everything that's gone into this brand. So even, you know, even past the the creation of the vessel and uh, the scents, it also like went into everything else that was happening behind the scenes that I was creating. I designed the website, Auden Lore website, which you'll see on Sunday. It's don't mind if it's, it's it's a little bit beautiful I'm, I'm very proud i also used to design websites for a living so i was like i'm kind of i'm kind of the perfect person to do this um i did the product photography myself which you'll see in the making of i obviously didn't shoot the photo shoots of me because i can't be on but if i could be on both sides of the camera <gasps> it would dominate like i'm just i would love that so much but no, I could not, of course, um, but I did shoot the product photos myself, had to pull out all of my old equipment that I used to use to do that with and kind of like it was a little bit of a learning curve in the beginning. I was like, wow, I have not shot product photography in so long. So it took me a minute of a day and I, I got I got with it and it, it came together. And then when it got to the packaging for the box, I wanted it incredibly unique and special. Um, so I designed it solely like i i created all of the, the the color it was going to be the the texture of the paper um the fonts how it looked on each side how everything was laid out i did it all myself and i knew i wanted the inside of the box to be something cool you know like i, I just wanted something super special um to be so i wanted this experience when you and you won't know until you actually get the box what it really truly really looks like um so if you order you're in for a surprise and a treat but when you open the box and you open the lid it becomes an explosion of a powerful painting from my mom and so she painted three unique individual paintings just for each scent that are just for the brand. So Arlo has a beautiful orange tree and leaves and it's very vintage feeling. And Ellery has this explosion of all of these different violets and pansies, you know, so it really evokes like the floral on the inside. And then Noel has um, a pine branch with pine cones and it looks like it's it's just started to snow. And so she painted these amazing pieces for me and I'm so grateful to have such a talented mom to paint me the artwork. Um, so that will be on the inside of every box and I can see people already like trying to feel, like figure out how to open it up and like frame parts of it, which I would love, which goes further into like the repurposing and the reusing and nothing, everything doesn't have to be trash and be tossed. You know, we can, we can actually find creative ways to use every aspect, you know, designing all of those little touch points and, and, and little things like the website and the packaging, and even down to the thank you card that I write for every, um, order, you know, like that goes in every order. And I even picked up a hundred postcards from the Louvre in Paris to handwrite the first hundred orders. And, um, even down to the way that we're packaging, you know, finding better and better, um, sustainable and just better ways to ship packages. You know, I get packages, you know, sometimes for like PR or, you know, brands that send me stuff and there's just so much waste. And that really makes me more like aware of the waste that, you know, like even I create and it like, sometimes feels inevitable. And so even thinking about the ways that we can further make, take strides to do that better is what the company will continue to evolve. So the line will be available in the States in the United States. And I'm waiting, fingers crossed, still sitting here that we can also open it up to Canada, which I think we will. And then as every small business gets started, it just takes a little bit of time to go through all of the regulations and things to, to open it up to even more and more international countries, which is obviously the goal. I know that the community that I've built on YouTube is so amazing, but it encompasses so many different countries all around the world, not even just English speaking countries but countries like the philippines and like india have a huge following there so it's like 
I just I want to make sure that I'm being thoughtful about how I can get something that like this that's so special to them as well. It's just like you have to follow regulations and there's there are steps that you need to take. So as a, as a small business, it's just <laughs> we have to take them one at a time and just kind of tackle them as we as we go. Um, but I'm so, so, so excited for you guys to see the rest of the making of series. And this is more than just a brand for me. This is more than just a business for me. Um, this is really, really feels like one of the rooms that I create. It's like I put everything into everything that I do and just like every detail and every aspect is it's just really thought through in every space that I create. And I wanted that same energy and that same respect to go into a product that would like live in my friends' homes, you know, like, like would live in your guys' homes and like you would enjoy them. And, um, I know that scent and smell is very subjective you know, also, I know that like not everyone is going to love every scent. I happen to love every scent for very different reasons, you know, and if you do, oh, thank you. Um, but you know, some people just like, like, you know, fresh clean smells over like floral smell or, or whatever it is. Um, so I hope in the collection, you find one that you, tr that you truly resonate with and that, that really brings you joy. And then you get to reuse that vessel later after the candle is, is done. And I'm so excited just to see you guys have them in your house, like to share photos and pictures with me, DM me, like snap pictures of them, like, um, share them, you know, the Auden Lore will have its own social media. I mean, it's really like, it'll mostly have um, Instagram and TikTok. So if you're on Instagram and TikTok, you can follow just the brand there, um, which I'll be sharing, you know, like brand specific stuff, like the photo shoots and cozy moments at home with the candle and things like, you guys, this has just been so many years in the making and dreaming and and all the little things that I'm so so proud to introduce Auden Lore to you guys. Um, I'm so excited to get your feedback and do better every day about everything uh, that the business is and will become. And who knows? I mean, it, candles may just be the start. Obviously, I'll have more scents that are introduced. That'll be a first gradual next step um but there's there could be so many things that could be the next 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 step of this brand and truly creating intentional products like this for people's homes that they're they're going to love so it is more than a business to me it's it's a community of people for sure and i can't wait for you guys to get them if you have any questions about the the collection and the line and anything and everything if i didn't cover anything in this podcast i definitely will cover more in the making of series and you guys will actually get to see them being filled and made and that's that's i think will shed a lot of light on the the energy and the thoughtfulness that have gone into this brand um but of course you can ask me any questions in the comments and I can answer them on the next podcast or um, on social media. Also be going live on social media to talk about the brand and answer your questions. So there's going to be tons of opportunities for you guys to know a lot about the brand before you're able to buy because you will be able to purchase it on the 19th. So mark your calendars and sign up already now to get early access. So if you sign up, if you go to the website, audenlure.com, A-U-D-E-N-L-U-E-U-R.com, you can actually like, there's like a page where you'll be able to put in your email address and then you'll get early access to shop the collection before everyone else that doesn't sign up. So you have to do it. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't want early access? Even if you don't end up purchasing, at least you have early access you have to so it's just it's such an exciting time it's been such a long time coming thank you guys so much for your support over the years I mean truly this would not be possible without you and I'm a big believer like I've put in the work I know that and I've put in the energy to create this community but you guys being here and it I wouldn't have any of this without you guys and I wouldn't be able to do this and create in the way that I truly 
want to and envision and dream about without you guys. And so thank you so much. And like I told myself I would not cry when I got to this point. I'm not <laughs> yet. <laughs> Um, but it's, it's truly like you guys, each and every one of you is like an incredible blessing and just know that I am there with you guys all the time. I see all of your comments. I'm, I'm so, so truly touched and amazed by your continued support. And even through this brand launch, um, and this, this new product that I'm breathing, bringing out into the world. I'm just, I'm so, so thankful that it is even happening. And that is, I could not be without you guys. So thank you so much. Um, I will see you guys very soon for more odd and lore stuff. There's a whole making of the whole making of series will be going live this week. Um, so more and more and more content over on my main channel. And so stay tuned and I will see you guys very soon for another episode of With My Own Two Hands podcast. And let me know what you want to hear. More, more topics, anything and everything. I'm always looking at the comments to see if you guys have any ideas. Um, so I know we've got the holidays quickly approaching. I mean, Thanksgiving is knocking on our door already when you're listening to this. Um, so, and then we're going to have vlogmas and holidays right around the corner which is crazy um so let me know and i will see you guys again in two wednesdays bye guys gift giving during the holiday season is something i take very seriously i always want to give a gift to loved ones that's thoughtful and it makes them feel special and unique so this year i'm creating a gift that has lasting memories with storyworth storyworth is an online service that helps you and your loved ones preserve precious memories and stories for years to come it is a thoughtful meaningful gift that connects you to those who matter most and every week storyworth emails your relatives or friends a thought provoking question of your choice and these are the types of questions that you never think to ask someone but one day you'll look back and you wish you would have like what's the bravest thing that you've ever done in your life after a year, StoryWorth will combine the stories, including photos, into a beautiful keepsake book that you can keep and read for years to come. And I know for me, reading the weekly stories helps connect me with loved ones no matter how far away from each other we are or how much time we spend apart. With StoryWorth, I am giving those I love the most thoughtful, personal gift from the heart and preserving their memories and stories for years to come. Go to StoryWorth.com XO and save $10 on your first purchase. That's StoryWorth.com XO to save $10 on your first purchase. Thank you to StoryWorth for sponsoring today's episode.